And I just want to be clear. The reason this all started was because of my greed for halal clout. Yeah? So I am calling out to Adam. I am calling out to Ali to please, please get it sorted together. And guess what they are? Thanks to who? The person that I praised in the last video as well, and that's Slim. We're brothers, yet if we start fighting amongst each other, we're brothers. How can we fight each other? And believe me, this is where Ali, uh, excuse me, this is where Adam and Slim mess up. I'm calling them out. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and- Oh! <laughs> and you decided to spend your Eid here with me today. Before we get into this video that you see in the title, I just want to start off by saying Eid Mubarak. Wallahi, Eid is a day of celebration, of brotherhood, uh, of reconciliation. And there's no way that you can celebrate Eid without worshipping Allah. You see, Eid is a celebration of worshipping Allah. Okay, so don't ever disconnect the two. There's no way that you can have fun, a beautiful, healthy, blessed Eid if you're not worshiping Allah. Okay, you just you just can't. So don't forget your prayers. Don't forget them, right? Whether Jumu'ah happens or not, because some people say, uh, you know, if you go for Eid Salah, you don't have to go to Jumu'ah prayers. There's different fix out there, guys. You gotta you gotta respect R E S P E C T. All right, respect. Uh, irrespective of that, Dhuhr is still gonna happen today. Okay guys, don't forget about these things. So Eid Mubarak to all of you guys. Let me show you quickly before we jump into this video about how I am sorry. I am sorry, Ali Dawa. I am sorry, Adam Saleh. Before we jump into this video, let me just show you, let me show you the fit. Let me show you what's happening right now for Eid at my house as well. No cuts, remember? Let me show you this. Let's take this out. Okay, really quickly. Okay, this is my home in case you didn't know. Oh, this is the thing. This is where I work. This is where all my hats are. This is an old DSLR camera. I don't even use it. It's too bulky. Uh, stuff's here. Still a little bit of a mess. I apologize. We left late last night. Doll. Uh, my mom is over here. She's going to get blurred out. You know? Oh, my mom's over here. Got the chicken ready. You know what it is. You know something's about to go down. Um, my mom's making some coffee. And we got the Savion. Got the savior. My mom's trying to flex on us. And of course, we got the pineapple. Got to have the pineapple. All right, guys. Now that you see that, okay, here we go. Take a look at, now that we see that, take a look at my outfit. Take a look at my Eid outfit. Let's see if I can move this around. This is my Eid outfit. Got the salmon colored pants. Straight leg, not skinny. Got the, I'm, I know I'm looking like I'm in Miami. I'm not in Miami. All right. Got the little shirt. Believe this. Guess what? Got this from J. Crew. J. Crew, forget Louis Vuitton. Forget Louis Vuitton, even though you should click this video right over here to see about how I'm gonna sue Louis Vuitton, inshallah, right? Check this out. Check this out. This whole outfit, probably $22. That's it, $22. Good outfit, right? Awesome, sorry, I just gotta fix these things. That's okay, mommy, no problem. All right, so I am sorry, Adam Saleh. I am sorry, Ali Dawa, because this all things happened because of me, and not just because of me, but because of my greed and my lust for clout. Let me explain. So if you know what's happening or you don't know what's happening, you're gonna have to click this video over here to really discover and understand what's taking place, okay? Uh, Ali Dawa made a tweet. He tweeted something in which he, uh, you know, tagged me in. He mentioned me in that tweet. That's why I feel super responsible. Not just because of that tweet, right? That he had to do because of my name, but because of the video I had to make, okay? In order for you to understand that you have to watch this video right here, which I made about Ali Dawa, I felt like Ali Dawa was calling me out on Twitter. I felt that, even though he wasn't, may Allah bless him, right? So I made a video in response to that, okay? The reason I felt like Ali Dawa was calling me out on Twitter is because of this video over here, which is me trying to be on the Logan Paul podcast with Muhammad Hijab or whatever, whatever the case might be. And I just want to be clear. The reason this all started was because of my greed for halal clout. That's, that's all it was. I thought that I was the best person for the job for Logan Paul's podcast. So, hey, get me on the podcast, son. But you know what? It's not worth it. If it's going to cause enmity between people, it's not worth it, right? And I don't, I don't care about it. If Mohammed Hijab gets on, if Sabur gets on, if, if Hamza Zorsis gets on, I don't care who it is. As long as they use this platform for something halal, something good to reach an audience that's never been reached before, come on. 
We should all be making dua for each other, man. But you know what? The shaitan is literally designed in place to cause enmity between brothers. That's literally what it's all about. Yeah? So I am calling out to Adam. I am calling out to Ali to please, please get it sorted together. And guess what they are? Thanks to who? The person that I praised in the last video as well, and that's Slim. Slim is the one with the most level-headed, you know, like head on his shoulders right now. He said what? He reached out to Ali. He said, you know what? Let's get you on the podcast. How much time do we have that? Four and a half? Guys, we're going to make this quick. It's Eid. I ain't trying to waste your time. I ain't trying to make a 27-minute video. What the hell was I thinking, huh? All right. So hear me out. I don't know what to Man, people, so many sounds, huh? You got to focus, SQ, no cuts. Straight to the face, no cuts. I hope you're enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying making them. Well, lying, I'm enjoying making them. It's not because it's some strategy. It's not because I'm transparent. It's not so that psychologically that I can, you know, show you how real I am. Nah, it's easier. It's easier than me scripting out things. I know what I'm capable of. Let's get back to the video, okay? Ali and Adam. Slim is inviting Ali on his podcast which is the right thing to do. And they're going to discuss things like brothers. And one thing interesting that Slim said in his video about calling out Ali Dawa was the fact that he said that, listen, maybe as brothers we can grow. That just shows there's good intentions. There's good intentions. It's not like they're trying to get him and roast him and all that sort of stuff. Nah. Nah, they're not. They're trying to have a conversation. And believe me, this is where Ali, uh, excuse me, this is where Adam and Slim mess up. I'm calling them out. Maybe that's the uh, name of the video. <laughs> you see, I'm always thinking about these things, all right? This is where they're messing up. They don't understand British culture. You see, I am married to a Pakistani woman. Well, she's from Kashmir, you know, but she's from the UK. She's British, okay? My culture, heritage, and all that sort of stuff, okay? Me and my wife in the beginning got in so many arguments and fights. Why? Because I didn't understand the sarcasm, the nuances, and everything that British culture brought into conversations. I thought my wife was disrespectful to me. I thought that my wife was condescending to me. But that's how British people speak. They're very sarcastic. They don't mean to be. So I'm telling you guys, once you guys sit down and have a conversation, things will go away because you're going to understand each other's cultures. It's a different culture, guys. It's completely different. And for, from their perspective to us, we look obnoxious and like, yo, like all this moving our hands and all wild and stuff like that. This is our culture, especially if we're from New York. This is our culture. And this is what they don't understand as well. So inshallah, inshallah, I'm asking Allah Azza wa Jal on this beautiful day of Eid to put reconciliation and love and mercy between my two brothers' hearts and allow us all to be connected together in this dunya and in the Akhirah, and in Jannah, and have houses next to each other. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about, guys. The whole world is against Islam. Do you not get that? The whole world is against Islam. They don't discriminate against us at the airport. They don't discriminate us when they're dropping a bomb in Yemen. They don't discriminate against us when they drop a bomb in Syria or Palestine. They don't care. We're brothers. Yet if we start fighting amongst each other, we're brothers. How can we fight each other? That's counterintuitive. That's counterproductive. We have to get our lives together. So inshallah, I'm hoping and I'm praying that this podcast is going to clarify a lot of things for people and everyone needs to get their peace. And honest to God, I should do a mediation. I would love to do a mediation between everyone over here. This is what I do. I'm a counselor. I mediate people. I'm a middle school teacher too. I, me I get people who hate each other. Two girls who would hate each other about a fight. They fought and then I mediate so that there's love between them. This is what I do. This is what it feels like. It feels like some middle school, high school drama. Guys, come on. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Sincerely, sincerely, Eid Mubarak to you all and to my beautiful brothers, Adam, Slim, Ali, uh, Zishan Fasmal, the Jannah, Muhammad Hijab, all these people, Subur, I don't care. If I didn't mention your name, I'm sorry, right? I love you all for the sake of Allah. Never ever think that SQ, SQ has enmity towards anyone. There's no time in my day for that. My heart, Wallahi, if you guys understood this helicopter, they're looking for me. <laughs> if you understood the condition of my heart, wallahi, I can't sleep at night if I have something to say against someone. I can't sleep at night.
I can't. If I have a problem with someone, whoever that might be, I can't sleep at night if I don't reconciliate that. So look, I'm not going to drag this video out. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Have a beautiful and blessed Eid. And I'm telling you this right now, on the first hundred people who DM me their outfits on uh, Instagram, right here, okay? DM me outfits on Instagram. I'll blur your face out, don't worry. But I want to show off your Eid outfits. I'm going to post it in my story for the first hundred people only who do that on my Eid. I'm going to put an Eid outfit or Eid fit, Eid drip uh, story out there. Or maybe on my page, I haven't decided yet. But the first hundred people who do that, they will be featured on my story for the whole world to see. And maybe if you're single, I'm just saying you might get a boo or a bay on Eid. Love you all for the sake of Allah. She's ready for Eid as well. We're going to take them out. Uh, we're going to take them for uh, some ice cream for Eid. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to go for ice cream. Yeah? I want um, vanilla. She wants vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah? We'll get you vanilla. Can I get some for the birthday? Yeah. And can I get some? Give me a hug and kiss. And I will get some for you. Okay. I will say, Mella. I will say, it's a special I'm, day. Look, they dress together, mashallah. Come on. I'm, say, Allahumma I'm, barakai. guys. These are my children. I'm, Okay, guys, so listen, hear me up, hear me up. Listen, listen, girls, hold on one second. Daddy's still filming, okay? Don't, don't, hey, don't mess up daddy's clothes. You know how daddy gets with that. Okay, so listen, guys, uh, sincerely, look, we don't have time for this, right? I'm a grown man with children. I don't have time for drama. I'm here to reconciliate and put mediation between my brothers. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And um, yeah, if you want to spend some more time with me, click any of these videos right here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, you know what? Keep it that way. I love you all for the sake of Allah. If you're a ghost follower, I love you either way. May Allah bless you, accept from you, and guide you. Have a beautiful and blessed Eid. And until next time, I'm out. What do you say when you say bye? Bye. May Allah bless you. Yes. Bless you. May Allah bless you all.